Well, hello everyone. I'm here for September's plan with me. August went by so fast. Um, I really haven't had time to do a really nice illustration, so this month I'm going to take a little bit of time and do a really nice illustration on the first page. I think it'll be good for me to kind of accomplish something a little bit more fun than what I've been doing in my other business work. I haven't been drawing as much, and I miss it. So I'm going to go ahead and run the time lapse, and then the monthly overview, and then the daily overview. So let's go ahead and get started.
So all the pages are finished. That took a really long time. So I'm sorry if there were some light changes in the middle of that. I uh, started during the day and now it's nighttime. Um, but I'm really happy that I took the time to really decorate these pages. And my cats are fighting. <laughs> um, I'm really glad I took the time to decorate these pages. Um, I've been doing such simple pages the last two months, so it was really great to do some more complicated, decorative, fun things for me. I really enjoyed it. As usual, I started off with a little page for um, a little journal entry of how I'd like this month to go, kind of listing my goals, my thoughts for this month. Uh, really great way to start the month for me. Um, I haven't really been filling a whole page like I used to, so I just kind of left myself a little quarter page and did a nice little illustration, which I think came out okay. I did a sunflower and um, just little doodles all around and added in some apples because this is apple season coming up here soon. Um, so I had a lot of fun with this one. Uh, the colors for this month are going to be, as you can see, the normal black and white, um, and then brown and gold. I think it'll be a really nice way to tie the pages in, make them look really classy and simple, and I'm excited to see what I can come up with for this color scheme. Next is my calendar. Of course, I put the weather and the temperature every single day, and the date. I do little doodles. Uh, sometimes I complete this page and sometimes I don't, but I've been doing fairly well with keeping up with these pages, so um, I definitely want to keep this in here. It's a nice little way to warm up um, at the beginning of the day. Put the little title at the bottom. And goals, I write down my goals for the month here, and then I break those goals down into tactics, and then the tactics become my weekly goals. So if I want four videos, a month and then I'll do one video a week and then that will get moved into my weekly goals. This has not changed at all for quite a while. It works very nicely for me. And my tracker. If you missed last month's plan with me, I did a very detailed overview of what I do for my tracker. Um, so I'm just going to brief over it really quickly. I track the things that I do every single day or once a week or whatever. Things that I want to keep track of that I'm doing on a regular basis. I also track my mood when I feel like it and um, I put the little the color code key here usually but I haven't I'm not going to do that today. Um, I'll fill it in when I'm actually going to be using it since I already know the colors. Um, books read, movies watched, and video games played and like I said if you want to go back to last month's plan with me if you want a more detailed breakdown of what I used my tracker for. Otherwise very simple easy page. Um, I did a little golden apple basket for my memory section. This is where I will draw and like fancy cursive um, out all of my memories for the month of September. I've actually been really bad about finishing these pages until the last minute. Uh, I'm hoping that for September I'll keep a little bit more on track because I know once October runs around and October starts again and I'm going to be drawing a lot more, I want to kind of warm up for that um, by getting back on track for September. So we'll see how it goes. And then of course my weekly setups. Um, so basically I'm trying to fit the rest of this year in this tiny little section, um, which for me is very difficult. So I am gonna be working kind of small again. And I used to work that way in my first bullet journal. I did fit an entire week on one page. So I am gonna try to do that a couple times. I'm giving myself a little bit of leeway, but you'll see I marked out my page dates and future drawings and stuff um, so that I could keep it very concise and hopefully fit everything in a very small area. That being said, I do still want to decorate and especially since it is such a small area now versus what I'm used to like spreading out all over the page and doing whatever I want, I'm going to keep it very organized and tight and decorative in the small sense. So I did some sunflowers to match in with the rest of my sunflower theme and I'm going to fit all of this week on here and then the second week on here and do happy thoughts and goals for both of those the weekend and that first week so that it fits on two pages. I think this will work out nicely and I'm already liking the layout already. 
So that's it for my plan with me. I hope you enjoyed a look at my pages. Um, I know next month we will be doing another quarterly, which is really exciting. It's the last quarter of the year, and so I will be putting that in, which I totally forgot about when I was planning my pages. <laughs> I just realized that. So I'll probably be doing a more condensed version of that. Um, that should be interesting. So again, I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a like and subscribe. I try to make new videos every single week. I have been not making as many videos as I was previously just because I am working three jobs at the moment, which is a little insane. Um, and so, but I do have quite a few different ideas for September. I'm going to obviously be doing an October plan with me and I've got Inktober coming up. I've got, um, I'm going to be doing fall headers and icons a second video because it's been an entire year since I started my header and icons videos. So I think I can do fall a little bit more justice than I did it last year because I've progressively gotten better at making headers. So I want to do that again. Um, and then I also have received so many awesome suggestions. So I'm either going to be doing well, I've got a couple of ideas. I won't spoil it. I've got quite a few other ideas, and um, I'm hoping to release at least two header and icon videos this month. I've also got lots of other great content coming your way, um, so be sure to subscribe and keep an eye out for all of that. A quick thank you if you watched my watercolor time lapse video. I appreciate those of you who watched it and let me know that you enjoy those videos. I am going to be doing another one soon. I always appreciate comments, so if you have any comments or suggestions for future videos, please do let me know in the comments below. I try to respond to everyone when I can. Until next time, remember to live, love, and travel on. Bye!